Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by women's volleyball coach Dave Trumbo once again. And coach, we talked last week. Going into the last weekend, you knew it was going to be a tough challenge. You're going to be playing three regionally ranked teams, all of them ahead of you. Saturday was a bit rough. We'll talk about that. But Friday, good way to start things off with a big victory in five sets over Carnegie Mellon. Well, we really wanted to come away with a good start. In Carnegie Mellon, we came out playing some of our best volleyball we have all year in the first two sets. We were firing all cylinders, won those first two sets. First game a little close. Yeah. Uh, second set, we established better control. In the third set, we're up 12 to 5, and all of a sudden, we lost the fourth, first, next 14 to 16 Carnegie points. Carnegie Mellon realized there was a tournament at hand. Oh, yeah. They, they, they woke <laughs> up a little bit. I mean, their faces, you, you just, we had them, yeah. and we made a couple of mistakes, and they thought, oh, maybe we can come back. And they yeah. did. And they won the fourth set, but the fifth set, you know, our team just really got behind us. You know, we really you know, were determined, and we jumped out to a 7 1 lead and won that fifth set. So that was huge Friday night, just feeling good about ourselves coming in, and really as the underdog to all three teams. Of course, a 15-point fifth set, getting up 7-1, is huge. Oh, You're yeah. halfway there pretty much, yeah. and and the other team's got a big hill to climb. Right. So you win that one pretty confident going into two teams you know very well, Eastern Juniata. You played Eastern once earlier this season in a pretty good battle. Eastern certainly seemed to have your number this time. Oh, yes. And Eastern, last time we played them, we really had a chance to win and just and didn't do it. Uh, this time, Eastern had made some lineup changes because of injuries. Now they're used to those changes, and that's the best I've seen Eastern play. And we didn't play particularly well, and when you play a good team, they can make you look bad, and sure. Eastern made us look bad. They, <laughs> they, they, they look like the number two seed uh, in our region. And, of course, then you follow that up with Juniata, who you certainly know well. Uh, they've probably got a little bone to pick with this team as well, thanks to the NCAA tournament. But this was a good battle despite the outcome. Yeah, and I, I really think there is no, ooh, this is Juniata with us. Uh, you know, having beaten them last year, the first right. time we played them, and the first game we were down, we came all the way back, caught them at 21, and then lost 28-26. Had we won that set, it might have been a different match altogether because we played well in the second set. Got and beat them 25-18. Then that third set, we're down 10-1. Mm. We could have folded and said, oh, we'll just go for the fourth game. They didn't. We came all the way back, had them call two timeouts. I think it was 21-20 mm. uh, before they reestablished re control. So I was proud that we didn't fold in the tents. Fourth game, we did not play well. We made a lot of errors, and they beat us 3-1. But we walked out of there feeling, okay, one and two is not horrible. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. Sure. Uh, and maybe even this week we'll even move up because the teams around, you, yeah. around us, you know, that's who we played. They were both above us and the team right behind us, which was Muhlenberg, lost to uh, good old Mac <laughs> foe uh, Messiah. Messiah. <laughs> yeah, lurking in yes. the background. And that's the thing is you knew going into the weekend it was going to be tough. I don't think anybody probably had the thought that you could sweep out of there uh, and win all three, though that would certainly have been a good thing. One and two, you... you you and I talking, it didn't seem like it, it's been that demoralizing. This team's rallying around it and said, okay, we beat Carnegie Mellon. We had two tough games against Eastern and Juniana. Let's move forward. And it's all about getting better. Exposing the freshmen, which we have a lot, and the underclassmen of big-time matches against great opponents. You know, and we can learn so much about ourselves as long as we're going to stay positive about it. Um, again, Meg Miller and Sammy Perillo, great captains. They've been here before. They've been the NCAAs three years in a row. So they knew what this weekend was about because we, we want to be prepared so we're not the awe factor when we get to, hopefully, when we get to right. the NCAAs. And that's the thing is you do have, uh, we're talking here on Tuesday, you guys have a game tonight in conference action mm -hmm. on the road. You then have this weekend coming up, Muhlenberg, one of those opponents in region, and Lynchburg. It's now about making sure you get the job done. It's also making sure you're dotting I's and crossing T's and getting all the all the specifics down so you're kind of on a roll heading into the conference tournament. That's what we want to do. We would love to win these last three, go into the conference tournament, we'll host the semifinals. Uh, it'll probably be the winner of Lycoming and Widener. And uh, if we can get by one of those two schools, then um, actually Le Le Lebanon Valley beat Messiah this week yeah. in conference play. So that 2-3 seed um, semifinals is going to be at uh, Lebanon Valley. Changes Not that surprised. No. Not that surprised, uh, but I do think that Messiah can beat them, um, even though they won't be home. So that's, that game's a toss-up, so it'll be interesting. And of course, again, if everything bodes well, you'll once again be playing for a conference championship back here. That's certainly stuff we can talk about next week. The team, you know, you've been dealing with injuries all season, as most teams do. You've got senior leadership, the underclassmen. Those are all the storylines we've been following. As you kind of come to a close here of the regular season, 
What's been the surprise maybe about this team? Maybe the fact that you've only lost five games or have there been other surprises we haven't talked about? Well, that's definitely a surprise that we've only lost the five matches. Um, at the beginning of the season, I'll make a, a, a three predictions on right, the schedule. Right, exactly. One is worst case scenario. Sure. Next is realistic, and the third is unrealistic. We are above the unrealistic <laughs> if we sweep these three games. Right. If we lose one of them, 26 and 6, I, I believe, yeah. that was my unrealistic expectation. So, <laughs> Not that I, I don't want to lose <laughs> this one of these next three games, sure. but uh, uh, we're pleased with where we are. Uh, what's happening that's very interesting right now is that we have so much depth that the competition for positions is still going on. Mm -hmm. between uh, Jackie Zeppa and Lauren Weaver on the right side. Jackie's a left-hander, been playing really well. And uh, then in the middle, because Kelsey Stave is out with a uh, back injury, we've got Kelly McKenzie and Alexis Gibbs. So those two are battling it out for that second middle spot. So mm -hmm. that we've got this going on. All these people saw time in the big matches. Uh, Kara Anderson played a lot this weekend. So there's probably 11 or 12 people that got a lot of good experience this weekend that, you know, if somebody's not playing well, boom, put a, pull another one, put, put that one in, and, and they're fine. I know the focus is win the conference, you're in the NCAA tournament automatically, and you position yourselves the best you can at a decent seating for mm -hmm. the tournament. Per the weekend you just have, is the pressure maybe a little bit more on to make sure you wrap up the conference, or do you still think you've got a legitimate chance if the worst-case scenario were to happen? Well, it's going to depend on what happens Saturday. You know, if, if, if we can't beat Muhlenberg and Lynchburg, then we're going to have to win our conference sure. tournament, I think. Uh, now, if we do beat them, and I don't know what the conference, the regional rankings are going to look like right. on Wednesday, but if we do beat them, we're pretty well positioned because the people in front of us, Juniata, should win. Yeah, right. Uh, Christopher Newport should, should win, win, and Eastern's definitely going to win. They yeah. win every year. So, and so then they can we move the able table to, quick. Right, yeah. So if we're that fourth, fifth position regionally, it might not be a bad position, but I sure don't want to take that chance. No, absolutely <laughs> not. You want to win the conference. Well, it's certainly been a fun season so far. I know it was a big test this weekend. At least the team seems positive coming out of it. Uh, obviously, three big games ahead. We'll talk to the coach ahead uh, next week. After those three games and ahead of the conference tournament, which once again has to come through Stevenson yes. to be decided. I'm pretty sure Coach and the team's looking forward to sleeping in their own beds oh, uh, yeah. for that. <laughs> we'll talk to Coach Dave Trumbull coming up next week, as we mentioned. Again, they'll be home on Saturday starting at 12 o'clock against Muhlenberg and Lynchburg, Lynchburg in a tri-match. You can catch those games at the Owings Mills Gymnasium or on SUTV at GoMustangSports.com. Thanks to Coach Dave Trumbull. I'm Dave McHugh for Go Mustang Sports.